One of the significant changes with iOS 15 is that it's now going to process voice to text on your device. That's right, it's no longer sending it up to the cloud. That should make it faster and more secure. Let's kick the tires. All right, comma, let's try out voice to text dictation on the iPhone, period. The device on the left is an iPhone 12 Pro running the iOS 15 beta, period. The device on the right is an iPhone 12 running iOS 14, period. New paragraph. As you can see, comma, dictation has got pretty good on both devices, period. There are differences, however, period. The iOS 14 device is sending my voice to the cloud to do the transcription and then send it back, period. The device on the left, using iOS 15, is doing the transcription on device, period. This means I get to keep my dictation to myself and not send my voice files to some anonymous cloud somewhere, period. That's a win for security, period. New paragraph. In terms of speed, comma, they're about the same, although I may argue that the iOS 15 device is slightly faster and slightly more accurate, period. New paragraph. The big change, as you can see, comma, is that there is no longer a timer with iOS 15, period. The iOS 14 device timed out right in the middle of a sentence, period. That's going to be a pain to get started again, and it's going to require me to stop and push a button like a monkey, period. I don't want to be a monkey when I'm doing dictation, period. Nevertheless, comma, I'm going to do that, period. New paragraph. Now I've restarted the iOS 14 device, and the iOS 15 device just seems to keep on going. And from my experiment so far, comma, it does just keep on going, period. As far as I can tell, comma, there is no more timer, starting with iOS 15, which is a kind of awesome, period. New paragraph. I can also put long pauses in while I'm thinking about what I'm going to say, period. The microphone remains hot and just picks up and starts transcribing again when I start talking again, period. New paragraph. So the small wins with iOS 15 are slightly faster and slightly more accurate, period. That's to be expected, period. The big win with iOS 15 is that we no longer get that blasted timer and we can dictate at will and not worry about the microphone randomly turning off for us in the middle of a sentence, period. That's a win, exclamation point. The only thing I would add is that the iOS 14 device had the benefit of very fast Wi-Fi. I've recently updated the Wi-Fi in my home, and I've got crazy fast Wi-Fi, so the internet connection was absolutely solid. If you use the cloud-based dictation where your internet isn't so good, I suspect it may not be quite as fast. Either way, removing the timer makes dictation so much more useful. I can't wait to see this get out in the wild so everybody can use it.